guys, it's Shay from Shay's Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today, we're gonna be opening my butcher box. It literally just arrived and I just pulled it off on my front porch. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys what's inside for the March butcher box. So I just cut open the box and I'm opening it, opening it up. And forgive me guys, this may be a little difficult because I am one-handed. This is just a packing slip and let's see what we have. Oh, we have chicken fingers, which I've never had those before. Um, more ground beef, I've had that before. Oh my goodness, we got some spare ribs, some sirloin tips, and some more ribeyes. So I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and look inside. Looks like they changed their packaging a little bit too because it's never come out looking like this. All right, let's just, I'm kind of short, so I'm gonna have to stand on my tippy toes so that you guys can see what's down in here. So that's a better view here. Um, but let's see. So these are the ribeyes and they're a little, hmm. Today, let me see if I can show you. They're a little soft, so that's not typical unless, unless I thought they had just been delivered, but maybe they've been sitting out since this morning, but it's okay. It's still good. It's not um, gone bad or anything. It's still very, very cold. And what's this? These are the sirloin tips. Just one of those looks like. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm kind of short, and this is a little awkward here, but these are the chicken, the chicken tenders, as you can see here. And I think of ground beef. And and the spare pork ribs. So I don't know, hopefully that's just kind of like bent over and not just a little bit of spare ribs, but um, that's what I got. All right, so that's what I received for my March butcher box. I wanna do a couple of things different on this unboxing though. I've always shown you guys for the last few months what I've received in my butcher box, but I never show you what I actually prepare with them within the video itself. So this month what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna post this late, meaning a month after I've had it, long enough for me to prepare the meals that I'm gonna prepare for my family. I wanna show you guys what I prepare, how much it actually, um, how much of a meal it actually makes and the cost per person to actually make that meal compared to the same quality of meat that you would purchase inside like a grocery store. So that way you realistically are able to see if this is something that is a good fit for you and your family and within the budget that you all have. Now, I do want to say, I am absolutely, again, loving this service. One, I don't have to look for meat, even though I do still substitute a little bit, but those meats are just anywhere you can pick them up. They're typically on sale. Um, but the, for the quality and cuts of meat, I absolutely love it because the meat tastes different. It does not taste like regular meat that you would just go to the grocery store and buy. So that's just my, my opinion. Um, definitely leave a comment if you find you have a different opinion. Okay, so these are the items that I receive. Now the question is, is it worth it? Is it worth the money that I'm actually paying at $129? So, as you can see, I have five cuts of meat and you do typically typically get five cuts of meat with each monthly subscription. So you're looking at roughly a little over $25 per cut of meat. So for my $25 for a family of four, it feeds us about a meal and a half. So that's one dinner and one lunch for my husband and I. So for me, that's actually worth it seeing that I have the quality of meat there. I have completely organic, grass-fed chicken and beef and heritage pork, which I do not have the option of purchasing locally. So for me, it is worth it. 
even though I do have to substitute, it's not enough meat to get you through the entire month. But for us, we're, we're meat eaters and we need to be less of meat eaters and more vegetable eaters. I can actually justify the cost of the subscription at this point. I am so sorry, guys. I was only able to cook the chicken tenders out of the March Butcher Box. So that is the only thing that I have to show you from this box that I actually use to cook and feed my family. All right, guys. So that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please leave your comments down below in the description box. Hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already, as well as the notification bell. Follow me over on my Instagram channel at Shay's Country Kitchen. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.